I guess we're on now. Hi. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday, fellow furniture tour. And, and you've just heard some of our, our back uh, conversation, I guess. Oh, behind the, the scenes. Room. Yes. So, hi. I'm Teresa at Ray Home Collection. Welcome. And I'm Melissa Marr with Ray Home Staging. I'm trying to find this on our, on our channel right now so that we can read comments. And it is Monday. It is Makeover Monday. So, we are making over this absolutely gorgeous old narrow it looks like it could have been a pantry door or something it's so so pretty yeah i think I we it. actually took it could have been the hallway linen closet door or the okay. bathroom linen closet door yeah or i was thinking we seen 20s tudor house that got torn down yeah uh, i was thinking that we probably did this love love was it just one of these this, the this skinny one? one i think there was just the one okay I love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah, it's great. So I saw, I knew I had this door in the back and I had um, an inspiration piece. I'm going to try to bring it up there right. and show it to you. It's a little bit of a configuration. Oh, please, man. I've got a booby trapped right here. So <laughs> she might get there and not get back. I don't know. Well, you um, can stay there probably because you can paint from the front. So, the so this is. I don't know if you can see it to be honest, but this is what inspiration was for me. Um, this was a, a group that I'm part of. It was the, uh, the Jamie Ray Vintage Group, mm -hmm. and this person was sharing a door, and I knew I had this door, and I love this. I'm actually going to my um, oldest daughter, Paige. She, what, does she watch? No, she doesn't watch. Okay. That's it. Gotta be a surprise. She doesn't watch. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why would, I, why would you want to watch your mother? That's true. Sales? That's true. She doesn't watch either. So, so if she's 29. She doesn't care what one does. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to make this as a Christmas present. They're building a new house. And I'm going to make this wall decor for her. Perfect. So it's sort of like a giant, huh? Nice idea. Uh -huh. So sort of like a um, giant piece of art, exactly. if you will. We'll put some French cleats on the back so she can hang it. Uh -huh. And it can done. And is it going to be? Vertical hanging, or it is going to be vertical, so okay. like a, like a door. Okay. So okay. not sideways hanging. Cool, cool. So anyway, um, we're going to give this some mustard seed. Yeah. And we are going to add some transfers. And we actually cleaned this with Dixie Bell's white lighting because it was cruddy. So, it was yes. Super cruddy. It, but was, it was awesome. It, it took it off wonderfully, and in fact, it kind of started a little bit of a chipping process in some of the spots. Yeah, there, which is cool. And so I didn't wipe off though. Yeah, you are supposed to clean, wipe it, like wipe it down with clear water. Yeah. Afterwards, and I was told you didn't do that. I did not because we're hoping because we've kind of failed in this the last uh -huh. couple of times. Yes, yeah. this mustard seed. What are you gonna do? <laughs> she does what she wants She's to do. She's a sassy girl. Um, so we're hoping we're gonna get a real good chippy effect uh -huh. because I really, really want this to chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elaine Laura's from Houston says hello. Well, hello. Well, hello. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. And um, we are going with Luckett's Green, Miss Mustard Seed, today. And I've gone ahead and got some prepared because you really should um, let this settle it really a little bit. Should, yeah, it really should sit in hot water for about 10 minutes, yeah, so. ideally. So oh, it's because it's a powder, it does need to kind of dissolve. Right, right. So typically we mix it and then let it sit for 10 minutes and then come back and mix it again. Yep. Um, and so the ratio is one to one. Mm -hmm. So if you are using a... Usually you do it by tablespoons. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a tablespoon of milk paint, you add mm -hmm. a tablespoon of water. Right. So if you do a half a cup of milk paint, you do a half a cup of water. Exactly. And a half a cup is enough to do a fairly large piece of bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. It I goes know. a really long way. Yeah, it really does. And so, I mix it a little bit thin just so we have some spread and then we can add some powder to it and do a second coat. Yeah, one more. of these bags is equal to a quart yeah. of chalk paint. And it's... It's every bit of that, if not a little if more. If not more than that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Just, and you can also use, we talked about this before, you can use Miss Mustard Seed um, as a stain, too. If you mix it with very much water and not much color, you're still getting enough color that you can use it as a stain. Yeah, so, or a great wash. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so great it's colors. really it's really versatile. We really love these. Um, and yeah. Fusion is coming out with uh, milk paint as well, uh -huh. which we probably will carry. We haven't really looked into that too much yet. But it's made by the same company of this mustard seed, right. um, which is Homestead House. Right. So I think that they'll have uh, basically the same sort of mix. Right. 
looks great. I stuck your brush over there. So how do you want to tackle this? Do you want to go from the front to the back? I'll do this and you yeah, do that. Yeah, I'll do the top, you do the bottom. Okay, sounds good. Let me pour you some paint. Yeah. Yes, Miss Sue? Rashonda says hi, ladies. Hello, Hello. Miss Rashonda. Hey, Nick, 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 from, from Ashland, Kentucky. Oh, thanks oh, for watching. And hello. It's nice That's so awesome. Are we nationwide? That's so amazing. So we are using our Klingon brushes. Both of us have S. 50s, which uh -huh. have been sold out. However, oh, I ordered 12 <gasps> today because they just got stock yesterday. I need like two. So they well, will be here. <laughs> so they will be here within One, about, two. About, about a week. Awesome. So if oh, you yay. need an S50, then go ahead and you can order one on our website wavehomecollection.com and we will set one thing yep you can pre-order it and uh we will have them for you we will set it out as Yay. soon as we receive them that's awesome all right so we got one wicked crown tiara all today and yeah. a pair of glasses my crown is my glasses uh, every time i try and wear something i always try and pull them off my head and see into them and realize they're not my glasses but that's cat ears so i'm just trying to avoid the embarrassment and and I I was having kind of a sad day today, so this is my this is my attempt at uh, at, at breaking my my sad mood. Yes, yes, that's exactly what's happening. You and your nest, I swear. My nest. People leaving your nest. I know it really. Uh -huh. You know, you think when you're young, and your kids are little, that. It's going to be so much easier to be a parent when they're older. Yeah. And you know what? It's not. No. They're always your babies. There's always. Yeah. yeah. Always I found out my lily bird, which those of you who've been watching for a while know she used to work here up until. She left us. Up until a couple weeks ago. Oh, a couple months. Been longer. Um, yes. Yeah, a couple months. Two months, yeah. Up until recently, she worked with me for like five years. And that was hard to deal with her quitting and going to work somewhere else because she felt like she needed to spread her wings. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, dude. And then, and then this weekend, this weekend, her brother and sister-in-law and the babies are over, my son's babies. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Look at this coverage. It took us two seconds, just so you know. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do some drying while you speak. Yeah. And, and then they tell me that her and her husband tell us that they're moving to Atlanta. Um, she's been very sad. So. And, and they need to sell their house and we're selling their house. And well, yes, I've been very sad. Since. Come on. Then. Ethan did get a great job and my other daughter Paige, who I'm making this for, lives in Atlanta. So it's really good that she'll be with her sister mm -hmm. and her sister will have her sister there because she's been, they haven't had any family there. So all that is really good. I'm having my weepy moment of selfishness because wow. my baby girl is, yeah, is totally leaving. Allowed. Totally allowed. Elaine says her son is 35 and she still worries about him. That, that happens, happens when you're a mom. That's, that's your job for life. So, okay, I am just a big hot mess over here. Did I, did there I we go. block you? Okay. I didn't want to mess you up over there. That's just going to give you more visits. Yeah, and so you might have to see me do some lives from like Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You could have them as your guests, little people. Mm -hmm. more, more trips to Mars. There you Stop go. The store. It might be yeah. an overall thing. So while she's drawing, I'm going to talk about what I'm doing, what we're going to do here. We're always watching paint dry here, right? right? So I have two different transfers. I have the family heirloom transfer, and I have the sunflower oh, fields. Let me turn this down just a little bit so we can see what that looks like. So I have both of these, and if you look on the back, you can actually see how they come, how the sheets are broken down. And we're gonna take this family one, and we're gonna kind of we're gonna. There's actually two sayings on it. If you look at the back, you can see there's two sayings. We're actually going to use the family saying, which feels appropriate today. Yes, it does. As I, as I make this from my one daughter, um, who's not the one who's leaving, but who's been gone. And well, the saying that we're using is, the most treasured heirlooms are the sweet memories of our family that we pass down to our children. I love that. 
So the other saying that we could have chosen is family isn't defined only by last names. It is defined by commitment and by love. It means showing up when they need it the most. It means having each other's back. It means choosing to love each other. Even on these those days when you struggle to like each other, it means never giving up. That's very well, wordy. Too cry. Enough, enough. Too I wordy, like too them. wordy. Oh, that God. one is too wordy. We're going with the sweet memories. You're making me sad. You're both lovely. They are really lovely. And then we're gonna we're gonna zhuzh that up with some sunflowers. Because Paige, like Paige loves sunflowers. All right, I'm going to give you that to dry that end if you can. Paige has a giant sunflower tattoo on her back. That's my next one I want to get. I'm going to get some first. All right, we've got a couple things here. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to say this is the team for new color book, please, in today's mail. Why? Okay. I don't think that's what I've heard of Junk Monkey, but I didn't know that they made nothing. And it's just a true milk paint, I guess, like the powder and water, it sounds like. Yeah. So. And then Elaine seems to be curious about the price on drinkers. Oh, well. So both of these transfers are $27. And when I open them, you'll see how much comes in there. Oh, yeah. Um, like, obviously, the one to say, we're only using one of them. They're not going to go on the same board. Okay. Um, and even so, you can, even though they've got great things, you honestly can cut, I've cut those partial things up into other things so like the big memories it just has memories yeah. on it um and then you know other bits and pieces on other sections so oh you can get a lot of these that you can use them for one big project if you want or like melissa does cuts and pastes and picks and chooses where she puts them and you get a lot out of the them. sunflowers one i think i have a four projects and one of them was a furniture mm -hmm. so one of them was a lot of it went to furniture and then a lot of it went to if you watch the video on our youtube channel of the the vintage suitcase that I did, it was a blue suitcase, and then I trans mm -hmm. trip, painted it and transfers on them. Um, that one was a big one too. I used a ton of sunflowers on that, right. and then we had some small ones somewhere else. You want to give them a coat? Yep, let's do it. All right, one more coat now, and then two coats. And mind how easy this is. Do we want to put a, anything in between? We're just going for it. No, I think we just do another. All right, another good coat. Let's do it. I love Bucket Screen. It's one of my favorites because it mixes kind of however it wants to mix. Like you can see, yeah, you definitely see some yellows and some blues, yeah, and some teals. Yeah, it's just. I agree. We use this a lot when we use when we decide to do milk paint. It is yeah. really good, and for the sunflowers, it really feels so pretty. That's kind of what I thought when I saw the sunflower transfer out. Like, oh, and Rashad says, "Yes, it is a true powder milk paint." Okay. Joke monkey milk and chalky style paints are amazing. They are. They're very unpredictable, which is why we love them so much. It really is. I still miss my kitchen skin. <laughs> I'm get some more kitchen scale in. Yeah, I remember that one. I don't know. Just I'm also out of the farmhouse way right now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whites never seem to go away. You just got to have that neutral in the mix. So I did see somebody commenting on the Fusion page, um, on the Fusion retailers page, saying they weren't sure if they were going to carry the Fusion because they feel like Chippy is on its way out. So I'm um, shut the front door. So I'm curious, what do you think? Do you think Chippy is on its way out? It, I think it's making a comeback. That's what I think. On its way out. Okay, come here, Pika, and then I'll, you be, can you throw it this way? And I can, yes, actually, if I go better that way. Here, you take this, that end, and I'll just take the cord around. Do you need to come around there? Uh, I think, there we go. Back. We got it. Thank you, that was so. Everyone today seems to be watching on YouTube. Awesome. Thank you so much. So what's our situation on YouTube? So we have passed the 4,000 watch hours. Yay! We're at like 4,100. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're good there. Yeah. We still, we were at 897 subscribers. Still? Oh my God. So we are... Obviously we need 900. We, no, 1,000. It's 1,000. So we need 140 more subscribers. So um, if, and, and there's all kinds of things that unlock when 
you hit that point. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're trying to get there. Technically, you monetize, but I know money is really not, there's not much money in the monetization unless you're right. like super big. It really is about things that you can do, like other aspects. Like you can have a community there and things like that when, when you hit those. So we can start sharing like photo, like photos and stuff mm -hmm. like Instagram on YouTube, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, should be forever. Should be forever. Right. That's right. So if you know anybody that loves uh, DIY and watching YouTube, you should give them our information and let them become a subscriber. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, it would mean a lot to us if you would subscribe. Yes, it would. We would be very grateful. We appreciate it. And we will endeavor to make good content for you. Yes. That's what we're here for, for your viewing pleasure sure. and entertainment. We're trying to make a good point, even if it does go out of style and the chippiness, it can still do real things and add the bond to it. That's true. It's sure. not all about the chipping, even though it's mostly about the chipping. It's about those colors, too. Milk paints have beautiful, nice, muted colors. Well, and a finish that's very different. Oh gosh, it's so smooth with that little bit of sanding. Oh, it's just, it's a unique paint. I love it. So, normally we don't necessarily recommend using the heat gun to make it dry. Yeah. We're doing it because we're brushing it along. And we're going to add transfers. And we really recommend uh -huh. that you let that sit overnight before you add a transfer. But we don't have that kind of time right now. No. Um, are and we, we like trying to make this a two-parter? Are we um, uh, uh, top we are, this? We are absolutely top okay. If you do not top coat with okay. your milk paint over your um, if you are if you do not top coat over your milk paint and you're adding transfers, I can pretty much guarantee you that <laughs> they the transfer will stick to the paint and it will come off of the piece. It will not stick to the piece. But it'll make the paint chip. It'll make the paint chip, that's true. In the shape of the transfer you're trying to put on. Exactly. Um, I'm doing some good chippy action here in the top of mine, so I'm trying to use the heat gun to kind of encourage more of that. Which does usually help. Um, I, might, I have a 320 grit on this sander that's been used too. Like it's almost like a paper bag. We don't get much to we try and Make it look a little more. Yeah, because I do want this to be able to All right, either way. Let's see what we can do. We can always force it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Try and lean you down and. Oh, yeah. That's a good there, that's, you know what that's from. That's from that underneath, too. There's some cheapiness going on underneath, too. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Y'all do this weekend. Anything exciting? Any thrifting? You dive into any good dumpsters? Any estate sales? Spill it. Okay. Yes, you were, Miss Sue. Oh my God, we've got the best ten center table coming out to you all this week. It looks so amazing. See, it's tripping right there. Right And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this kind of chippy. Yep, the authentic. And again, it's milk paint, so you don't know what it's going to you know, be. You just don't know. It really depends on the piece that you're painting, the oils that were in the wood, the type of wood, the, the kind of, of paint, paint that was underneath it previously. Yep. Yeah, they say with the white lightning, if you don't wash it afterwards, wipe it down, that you get a, um, it doesn't like to stick in the shirt. Yep. So, I'm getting up some of the distress. Thank you. 
So you just want to make sure it's dry before you start doing this, otherwise you're going to just lose that cream and it's going to sort of curl up on you. Okay. And another tip is, is the thicker you can make the pain, the more likely it is to ship. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in too. Um, I'm going to turn off the light as I bring you in because I want you to see all the color variations from the bucket. So here's the area that was getting all chippy. I'm just going over with the 220. It's really cold. Loosen that up. If I let this sit overnight, it probably would pull up more. And if it happens to do that, I'm not going to worry about it. It shouldn't when I seal it, but it could theoretically still happen. And you can see there was some more here. And then if you look down, you can see like there's some blues. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's some blues and greens. And then some more like, huh? Lots of yellows. And some yellows and some like olive green. I love this about lovers. So like I can identify about four colors of green in here. Yep, awesome. It makes them one here. And then also try to let you see Teresa's side a little better. You can definitely see more of the yellowy green uh -huh. and some of the darker greens and even some blue in it. Oh, and it feels so nice. I love that sound. It does. Well. It feels like silk. Yeah. I'm killing it. Thank you for that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Matt, that's gonna do it. You need a damp cloth. No, no, not a damp cloth. Um, a damp cloth is not a damp cloth. Not a damp cloth. Not a damp cloth. Not a damp cloth. You like your bottom all like mine. Um, <laughs> what that big clean brush? Here? Yep. Yep. I like to use um, a nice soft fluffy brush. I do too. Can I use the cling on for that? Yep. Is it okay? And um, I just sort of dust it all away. This is where I use the forced air for a little. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, good idea. Forced air is a good idea. You forget to grab those kids. Forced yeah, I was just gonna say you mentioned that you had some. Yeah, know exactly where they are. Yeah. Okay. Exactly now. Ooh, here. Awesome. Now we're going to add some top coat. Um, I brought two. I didn't know. Would Gator Hide do it on this? Or is that too It much? would, but it really has to sit. So we're not going to use the Gator Hide. Okay. Um, so we'll use the Wise Owl. This is matte varnish. And it's going to, you'll notice too, this is beautiful color. When you put a top coat on this, it just pops the really color right back through. Yeah, and, and, and make um, sure you dry it real good. So um, this is the clean on, or the, excuse me, the wise out matte varnish. Um, I really love this. You might have noticed that there was some plastic over it, and Teresa does that because she's really smart. <laughs> and and this type of those screw on lids, like we have with Fusion, also they have this tendency to really get stuck on there. Oh my God! Seal themselves strong. That's yeah. how strong of a, a sealer that is, though, and that's what you want. They do. They tend to seal themselves closed. Uh -huh. So she puts a little plastic wrap um, over them, and that keeps it makes it easy to reopen again. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't stick to the lid. It sticks to the plastic, which goes right off. Plus, I'm a weakling. If nobody's here to open my jars, I'm not there. I can't paint. That's right. It's my husband at home and Sue here. 
We have we have Gator Grip uh, with us today, which is Sue. And that's great. But we're Gator sure. Grip. It's, uh, that's what I call her. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen and I'm like, I need Gator Grip. <laughs> John will be like, oh, I'll come and get it for you, Mike. And then he can't do it, and then I give it to Sue. <laughs> she really has, she really has amazing pencil strength. And her hands. Yeah, I have zero. My hands are arthritic. Yeah. Old. Yeah, I was discussing this getting old thing. It sucks. Where are the freaking birds, man? You would be like Benjamin Button and start old. You get young. That's not true. Either. Yeah, we'll do it again. I never saw that movie though. It's a weird one. It's Brad Pitt, so. No, it can't be a total bad movie, yeah, but so. I also can't be a total good movie, but yeah, it was just it was weird. Different. I did watch a movie because let me see what you did. So I got Patrick and I was book of adventures, it's called. Like it was a Facebook ad and it grabbed me in the middle of the night and I bought it. And it gives you like a whole bunch of date ideas. So it's a book, a hardback book with scratch off sections. And all it tells you is um, how much it's going to cost, if it's inside or outside, and about how long it will take. And then it gives you like little picture hints if it requires food or if you need to buy something. So it's something fun to do. So um, we scratched my first one on Saturday, and we had to. Go and buy stuff to make s'mores inside. Mm -hmm. We had to go buy a, what is that called, Sue? A sterno. I never heard of that before this weekend. And we had to build a pillow and blanket tent. And we had to Google top 10 romantic movies and watch one of those in our tent while we were eating s'mores. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Except I watched PS I Love You and bought my eyes out. <laughs> What a good guy watching the chick flick. I know. I, he, yeah. He's like, wow, this is really happening. I'm like, it's really happening. Once you scratch it, you can't go back. So it's nice that um, all of the transfers come with this little stick, which is basically the easiest way to put them on. Yes. So, so bye. Hi. 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 Thanks for watching. So again, this comes with two. So this is the one we're using. Okay. And then there's this one also. And if you notice, it is not quite as big as our door. We'll wash your hot gun with that. Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it up. And I'm going to hack it, people. I'm going to hack it, and I'm going to spread it out a bit. I'll get the sun dry for you. Oh, I just love the subtle chipping on this, honestly. Yeah. And, and all you know, the color. Transfers are on if you want to distress them, you could. Yeah. So I'm literally just going to cut this up with some sections. And this cupcake dries pretty quickly, which is a good thing. And again, all of this that we're doing, we probably should. We would recommend letting it have the proper dry time, but of course we're doing this for which will be overnight. The sake of lives, so not Really hurting anything is probably just not optimal. Oh, yeah, it's going to make the transfer up. Sometimes nicer and easier to apply. Feel like um, 
like all the way down at the bottom. This is a pretty long door, so if you can imagine it hanging on a wall. The bottom is going to be really, really like way down. Yeah. So I really probably don't want to go lower than about here. Okay. And I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this apart so that like part of it can go yes. on that, and part of it can go in the middle. Like, like there, so it still looks like it's a work. Let's get that to the R, like really close to the really close to the. And I put this one down, and then I put that one down. All right, you know, we'll start I mean? here. So, yeah, you can start there. Um, this is classes, classes time. You want to be able to see all these little individual letters, too. So, about your thing. Yeah. And so I'm really trying to spread these apart. Am I straight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're down. We're down. That's what it is now. It's too late now. There's no turning back, people. Well, this coat looks even prettier with my glasses on. <laughs> it's amazing what you can see when you can see. <laughs> And these apply relatively easy, especially over a nice top coat. I feel like these are really pretty. Nice. I say that. I'm kind of the same thing here. I don't want it to go up way high because, again, much like the bottom, is if it goes up way high, it's going to be really close to the ceiling, and you're not going to notice it as much. And I am trying to kind of offset it so that. Um, are you see, it's not sticking. It's not sticking. Yeah, go from a different direction. Remember how we did that? Yeah, movie? I mean, it's not even coming off of the paint. It's just not sticking off the last one. Let's try it. Yeah, there was no paint coming off. I guess it's not pushing over the last one. Is this a. Uh, yeah, there we go. This one's a good It's just being sassy. Sometimes, sometimes it does that. Sometimes it does. Okay, so I'm going to start up here then. Um, see how we spread that out quite a bit. So you don't have to use their you know exact layout C is being sassy and I kind of have it right middle and left justified all over the place. And I wonder why it was thinking That's just, just kind of how I want it. The zigzag across. I'm going to move you, turn you down a little bit so you can see a little better, hopefully. I'm going to lower it or anything. Is that some better? Get in Kind of just a little bit angled this way. And you know, it's really good. We're rushing a little bit because we're live. Yeah. But this is really a good thing to take your time on. Yes, and that's fine. Now that I know it's a gift, too. I don't care if I get finished or not. I want it done properly. See, what are you being sassy? That's a C. C, over there. Now, this C is for sassy. It is today. Let's see, right in here, it's not going to. Well, that could be a stretch there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Sassy with me, see. Go on for this stretch. That's true, we might have to. That's okay. And then, of course, when we're done, um, you want your seal over top of these as well, just to right. keep them down. So if something kind of pulls up and you're setting it back down. I'm so, oh, there we go. Come on. Work with me. <laughs> woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, sometimes just be patient. There is nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm Teresa. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the thing I shared on Facebook about patience? That little girl trying to get a straw and yeah. walk somebody up. It's like, no, she like cries over. Ah, freaking done. That's me. Melissa knows this about me, though. I do. We've known each other a long time. Yes. In case you haven't figured that out already. <laughs> you get asked all the time. Are y'all 
sisters? Well, in the beginning, you were asking if we we're partners. That's true. <laughs> well, and we don't think they meant business partners. No, no. Okay, and always want to burnish, which means simply grab something and make sure your transfer is down all the way. Get all your little air bubbles out um, before you seal it really. But just do that. Okay. Okay, let's just get this here. I'm shedding. You don't want to put it over here. Sitting over here watching little notifications come up on my phone and Iceman telling us the new roster. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll be hearing about that tonight when I get home. <laughs> Teresa, do you want to explain why? Um, well, my soon to be husband, which by the way, is a month from tomorrow. I keep calling him that, but we've been together for like a hundred years, so I'm not sure about four That's years. That's really not true. About four years, but four years. Does it seem like that long? It kind of doesn't, does it? That doesn't to me. Anyway, my almost husband as of tomorrow, which is why I'm late tomorrow coming in and getting my marriage license. <laughs> he is also the strength and conditioning coach of Jacksonville of your Jacksonville Iceman. So he's and he's the biggest hockey nerd I've ever met. Yay. Yeah. Next to Sue. Well, so I'm not a big hockey nerd. I love I love local teams. Though. Yeah, it's good support. They they appreciate that support. So yeah, they're getting their roster together. I think they start December 11th. Camp is the week before that. So yeah, they're all excited. Late start this week. Need something. It's been a crazy, crazy year, people. This is the kind of year that needs hockey. Needs something. Needs something. It really does. It needs to be 2021 is what it needs to be. I'm here with this nonsense. No um, kidding. Here, here. Getting married in this year. I'm hoping that was a smart decision. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to get married next year in February, but, you know, with COVID, it's like, eh. Everybody we were going to have coming, which was just going to be a super small gathering, or, or is our family, and they're pretty much all at risk. So why would we want to do that? Okay, yeah, I did one, two, or three. That you're Yay! Okay. So I'm only all on one. Are we like right I'm about number two? Okay, so I'm just going like right about here. Yeah. That look all right. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. I wonder why all these little intricate, tiny little lines. What is mine here? Thank I you. No, I can't see that far. Oh, wow. Okay, you win. Very tiny. You win. Oh my lady, really? You want to pull back on it? I'm still happy from the C episode, I'm sorry. I'm the worst You're about taking, drag it across even. the line and there, the side lane. Zoop. Ooh, all right, is it hot in here or is it just me? It does feel warm in here. Ooh. It's probably all these lights. Maybe. Lights you should, you all should see the, the lights. Oh, Miss Sue, are you yeah. sure about that? Absolutely. Stick your finger on one. I just did. Oh, all right. They're really deep. They don't put up on me. <laughs> it's just They're not bright thing. enough for me either, so. It's just us old ladies. Oh, gosh. We can't handle this. If the lady y'all want, you gotta be blinded. Blinded by the light. All right. That should be our opening song. <laughs> we should have an opening song, and that should be it. All right. And I know it might seem weird that we're doing this sort of higgledy piggledy across here, but at the end, it'll make sense, I promise. Always At least in trust. theory. Always trust a little process. touch of whimsy. Everybody likes that. Exactly. Nobody likes the straight and or well, not everybody, not nobody, but I like a little out of the ordinary. Are you I like it. All right, what's next? I can see this like from let me sure it's straight. I feel like children are going up. Yeah, children are going up. Yes, okay. We're gonna meet somehow. We're good. Okay. I'm going to go over. I'm just going to talk myself. And I'm doing along. this one. And she's complaining about. Look, I have it down. That's a lot. All right. So we're going to go. Sure. Did you ask Steve you like the beach this weekend? He loved it. He loved it. He, um, he loved it so much that he tried to chase and eat all the seafoam. I was like, he's going to be sick. He's going to get sick. Patrick's like, yeah, he'll come on. 
Got home that night, last night, ate all his food, got up this morning, ate all his brekkie, super quick. Forked. Like, yeah, here's that sea foam. Took him a while. But he loved it. He was in the water, like a little bit in the water. And that's his first time ever at the beach, and he's a year old. You haven't taken my pooches anywhere near water. I gotta do that. Oh, it's just because Patrick's like shocker, a retriever that likes the water. Because so I was like thinking, oh, he's not gonna like it. He doesn't like a bath. He kind of ran to it. We have Aussies that are afraid of the pool. <laughs> really? <laughs> or Australian Shepherds are afraid of the pool. Like they literally bark at us, like they're trying to drag us out of it. They're Aww. afraid. Aww. Somebody starts panting and pacing, and oh, she does not like it when we're in the pool. If I drown, she will not come again. I was going to say, she'll be like, bye, Felicia. What was that number again? 911? <laughs> Where's your cell phone? <laughs> she'll just sit there and bark at her. She'll wish you were okay, but she's not going to do anything about it. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I even put a little life vest on for Tina when she put her in the pool. No, Tina. I remember when you guys got her. Dolly. I love it when it just. I know it's it's literally it's so satisfying so when it just pops off, yeah. especially when it's this intricate and it pops and it off. Just comes right off. Um, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna leave these to you. These here. Because it's getting a hard for you to reach. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just making sure. And I'm gonna go it. ahead and start adding some of the sunflowers on the top. You got it. So, another stick. And we save all these sticks because when we have too many, we just like use them for stirs. Oh, or, yeah. They're very handy. They're very handy. I wonder what the stick would be so handy. I would have thunk it. Okay, so this comes in multiple sheets as well. They pretty much all come in multiple sheets. Um, for $27, this is a really good value. In my opinion, like you can do is. so much with this. Yeah, it's just not a one project transfer. So I'll show you each sheet. You get a good variety. There, yeah. Yeah, like the little So these are nice because they're good in groupings or they're good individually, in my opinion. Oh, I love that. And so I just feel like there's so much that you can do with it. So let's see. I'm definitely going to take some of these big groupings because I do have purple. I have a lot of area. I'm going to take this big one right across the top. Can I go scissors again? Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of going to lay it out a little bit before I, before I stick it on to kind of get an idea of exactly how I want to do it. Mm -hmm. Because remember, once you take that backing off and you start and it sticks, that's it. You're, that is the end of it. You're done. You're down, you're done. My arms aren't long enough. I'm make sure it's even <laughs> straight. <laughs> We're good. It's going to be super perfect because it's an obstacle. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to start with it right here. I'm going to kind of layer these. So I'm going to make them so they're going sort of right up to the edge and over both sides here. Can you see what I'm doing? I think you can, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to get this section started right up to the edge. Body started. If you don't feel like you're good at wrapping around the edge, then you can always um, get a razor blade out and cut this into sections. 
But for this right here, I feel like it's fairly easy to just kind of wrap onto the edge. If I were going around like a dresser, I would wrap around the edge. But if I were doing like drawers, a lot of times I cut it. Now I love it when it feels up nicely. But when it doesn't, you just sort of push it back down mm -hmm. and start rubbing again. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take this sort of bigger sunflower. And I'm going to kind of wrap it over so it covers the stem part kind of right here. And it's got bees coming down, or whatever kind of flower it is. I am so focused and concentrating over here. <laughs> All she had to do was say it's a gift, and I'm like, oh, God. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Right. So this time I'm going to do the bigger oh, part. I'm just basically. I <laughs> sure part. I did. <laughs> Baby Jesus. <laughs> I just saw the whole life flash before my eyes. It totally worked with Sue. Jesus Christ. I saw your life flash before your eyes. <laughs> oh my god, that's hysterical. She she she's easy again. Awesome. I, I like how you're like my life flash before my eyes. And you can make everybody think I'm mean. No, because I want to surprise you. When you watch the replay, you know what happened. Let's not talk about it right now because I still have this other end. You guys are you can make everybody think that I'm like some mean? some cruel dictator that I'd fire you or something. Okay, you guys so so for future note, 26 minutes, 30 seconds. Just so you know. Oh, okay. You can see the panic in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My whole life just went, that's it, this is how it ends. They kind of hidden behind the lip, so we might not see the thing. Okay. You, you just have to know Teresa High Strong, it's but not she, me, it's her. Yeah. Yeah. She's always like, oh, I'm lucky I have a job. I'm really not that person. No, she's wonderful. Oh, so she's just a panicky girl. I am a panic. And you know what? It's more now that I'm older. I never used to be this way. Jay keeps telling me how I'm like my mother now. I'm like, that's, that's not getting older, does it? Not that it's not compliment. It's fantastic, but well, she's not job. She's a Five foot little Italian woman. Oh, I get to do that again off the edge. This will be fun. <laughs> All right, I'm getting centered. Or um, is this one getting centered, Melissa? No, this one's really good. Yeah, yeah, kind of you get kind of centered. Right. Okay, Sorry, and so this one, I'm I'm kind of going right over that yellow flower because again we're layering. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm sweating in places girls shouldn't be sweating. <laughs> Woo! Right. I'm just trying to ignore. <laughs> Try as you will. You Try as I will. Right. Well, nice. This is my life, just so you all know. <laughs> she loves it. Day in, day out. All right. You know, do we have razors over there? This yeah, corner will be hard. So that, like, that, that couldn't be any less. Wait, uh, I got one. Yeah, there's razors. Um, I'm Sue's getting one. I don't know what condition this razor is in because I tried opening a box with it the other day. And... Oh, okay. This is best. Let's throw some flowers in the line. So I am going to try and cut this. I'm just going to try to feel right around the edge here and go straight down. And this is just because the corners are really hard to do sometimes. So if I sort of release the corner, like I don't have to cut the whole piece out, but if I release this corner, then it will lay down. And so I got to do the same thing on this side. It's sort of like making a box block, basically. So that that's a good analogy. So that it'll push down. And sometimes when you're going transfer over transfer, you really have to work the 
the adhesive. It doesn't stick as well to another transfer as it does the raw furniture or the painted furniture. So just know you might have to work a little bit harder when you're moving transfer to transfer. Might take a little bit more elbow grease. Ooh, gotta make sure Paige doesn't paint her, her walls with the same green because it's a blender in. She usually does the grays, blues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's in the process of building a house, so this will probably be house for me. Where are we? Always buried. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm spending more time on this transfer on transfer part than I did yeah. in every other part of the sunflower. Because you can, you have that chance of pulling it up, pulling everything up. And you know, sometimes if you tear a little piece off of something accidentally, like, I don't know where this came from, but I have a little bit of blue in my finger. <laughs> um, I don't worry about it too much in the big scheme of things. You're the only one who will ever notice it. Exactly. That's exactly right. And since I distress everything anyway, yep. it always just looks like it's part of it. If something's missing or broken or torn. It's one of the beautiful things about distressing. Yes, it is. It hides any little flaws you might have. I'm just going to use my fingers, rub all that down. Yep, anything I need to do. Get these little guys up. I'm debating if I want to do anything right here. I might put some of the screen right here and put another piece in there. Can I get you this? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, lady. You're welcome. All right. Oh. Oh, stressful. Phew! Oh, she's dying over here. I'm kind of dying. Look, I did some little loop to do stuff on the thing there. Uh, she got all fancy with it. Uh -huh. Look how nice that is. Look at your sunflowers. So when they bright and happy. Yeah, they look really nice. And I do totally dig that purple, especially on the screen. It looks really nice. I sent Paige a picture of the suitcase that I did. Um, Paige is very much of an artist also. Um, she's quite good. Mm -hmm. And I sent her a picture of the suitcase that I did with all the little flowers all over it. And even though that was a project that I made for myself, because that was the challenge that I was going to make something for yourself, and I bought it for myself with all the sunflowers on it, I'm like, oh man, I should really give this to her. But then I decided to keep it. <laughs> um, after all, that was the challenge. Right. And um, she's like, did you paint all that by yourself? And I was like, no. And I'm like, I bet you'd really have fun with this. She probably mm -hmm. would. She's really a good artist, but I can totally see her having a good time. Well, we don't talk about it enough, but Melissa is a one-stroke artist. And very good at it. And one of one of the few certified one-stroke artists out there. That's pretty cool. I'm just watching magic happen. Yes. You like I'll the rest you, of us. Like I'll give you some. Yeah. Something to do here in a sec. That's fine. I'll give you a break from your from my words from your panic. Yeah. Oh, I need to take a I need to just take a minute. <sighs> Back to Jessica's closet we are. <laughs> no, Jessica's not even here today. No, she is not. Introduce Hannah to who's working in in her office. Yeah. It's not let the new girl know there's a litter cabinet. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with the top. Nice. We'll see when I move down if I still am. I like it from up here. I love the purple. I know the purple. Okay, so now I need one something off to the side. I want something on the bottom. I have a sideways flower on one of them. Huh? You have know, like a sideways flower on one of them. I think I used that one up there. Oh, maybe, yeah. So let's see. I'll I'll put it down here. Put it down there. 
Rashonda says, that was looking so pretty. I just finished first coat of spearmint green on a vintage wooden mm. mantle cloth. Chippy goodness. Green. Nice. Spearmint green. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, it does. This might be one of the few transfers that I actually used the entire thing on one piece. It's a big piece. So it's a big piece. You got a you got a lot of space to cover. And it's from a baby girl. Exactly. My big baby girl. Um I think. What are y'all thinking so far, by the way? Hang on, yeah, what do you think? What are they throwing things on the floor? I'm just, that's what I do. That's, that's, that's what I do. You know what, can I actually have a second tube? Brian, Brianna says, hey, says hello. Do you want a second tube of flowers? Like a second tube of flowers. We don't have like extra what? spares back here. There's plenty, there's like right. six or eight over there. Well, the extra tube, here we go. I know, I never use more than one, but. Uh -huh. But you, you need different ones out there. But I kind of want that grouping again down here, but maybe flipped upside down. Oh, over on this side, maybe. Yeah, and like this one and that one, because I've got so much space down here. Right. But I kind of don't want this too low, and I do want to fill up most of this area. And I could like layer those, but then I won't have anything like for, your... for this for my side areas. Right. Because I can't because I know my daughter. Nicely done, Miss Sue. Cool. Uh, what's the date today? It's the 19th, because tomorrow my old Navy bill is due on the 20th. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow's a month before I get married. Man, you've already got paint all over those clothes that you're paying for. Ooh. I only know that because we regularly discuss the fact that you have paint over everything. You need. Everything, officially, everything now. Yeah. Which is kind of fun. I mean, he gets to go to work, actually, go to work and dress like this. <laughs> What's the name of that one again? This is sunflower. Uh, sunflower fields. Fields. There's a fields and a farms. Yes. Can we help you in some way tomorrow? I told him I was going late. What's this so far? Thanks. Thanks. Like the color. Yeah, yeah. I'm liking this. Yeah. What color is that? So we're going to oh, layer. Gonna do, okay. See, I think I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. So we put this one down first, and then we put this one right over. Let's tag team it. I am just here for the party. Okay, let's start in the middle. Okay. All right, everybody, we're going to get a little bouncy. All right. I was like, if you're talking to me, it's already too late. How's that? Nope. Your your heads are blocked. Why don't you just stick? Why don't you stick? And these are nice too if you were using them. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. but the grid lines that help you try and keep things even. Yeah, if you need them in, in, in a leveled area. How do you like this design? Do you like today's project? I'm totally doing this. Is this a project that you would ever consider doing? Because how many of you guys have this? You know, you can have like random windows or doors or just. You can yeah, you could totally do this on all windows. Mm -hmm. I still have two eight painters that I got to figure out something to do with. I think you should totally do something like this. You know, this is big. You should do one with a little ocean view. And then one with a nice field of flowers. Oh, well, they're nice big pans, too. Riding the wave. Oh, that was quick and easy, that one. I can manage that. Next one will be a little harder because I'm going to go transfer over transfer. Uh -huh. 
Sometimes I think also the more brave you are in pulling it off, the easier it comes off. Yeah. And more confident that you are in doing it. Now what you could do, couldn't you um, seal this, like if we had time, whatever, seal this first and then put one on top, would that make it easier to put some I don't think over? so. I think it would make a difference. Oh yeah, like all those fluff. Yeah, so I'm just trying to add a lot here, and I've got my razor there. Um, give me just a second because I want to. I'm going to do this. We'll do the outside, and then I'll cut the this get to off. get that down. Okay. All right. I just find it's easier to start. Uh -huh. And I'm just kind of resting my razor tip against the door frame there. And I'm just going to roll it down. It's not going to match up exactly, and that's okay with me. Yeah. Right? You I mean you just have to be aware these things are going to happen and go piece by piece by piece. Unless if you're not, if that's not okay with you, if you're super OCD, then what you do is you you. Corners, yeah, you would cut off this whole piece and then and then do the ledge and then cut off the other piece. And you could measure that all out while it's still on the backing if that's mm -hmm. like if, okay. if you're super OCD about stuff like that. I am not. I should just give it more of an authentic sort of just And the other thing the other thing that you can do is um you can always paint, you know, just like get match kind of paint color mm -hmm. match and you can kind of adjust the like have any little gaps mm -hmm. covered so what I'm trying to do now is kind of from the middle push out rather than come in it'll just be easier to try to get some of this to match up and I know it's not going to be perfect again that doesn't bother me if it bothers you then use your use scissors or razor up front and cut out this bottom so that it lays flat. Like you can absolutely do that extra work. I just choose not to because the rustic factor. Again, if you've been following me, you have to run you over with that stick. Put the stand back. It's a stick fight. Again, if you're following me at all, you know I like rustic, chippy falling apart. Yep. If it's new, we like to make it equals. That's right. Pretty much I'm trying to get it to where it looks like it needs to be painted over. Just so you are aware, we are over an hour at this point, but yeah. it doesn't really matter. It, it only does because I'm supposed to be at a closing right now. Oh, well. I thought you were out of clothing this morning. Uh, it got moved to three. Well, what the heck? But I told him I would be late, so. But it's just up the road, right? Yeah, it's only five minutes away. And closings take a long time. Fun part is going to be when you guys decide to show us the door. We got to flip it over so we can see it. See it all. Nope, oh, we lost it. Just a little purple petal. So see, even though I did that, I don't know if you can see that. Lost part of the purple petal. I'm just going to take it back here. And line it up. Shonda says she's wanting to take two doors like this and not stunts it, stunts lights to them and put behind nice. my headboard. 
That's yeah, awesome. It's not about using transfers, but now. That would be awesome. Beautiful. Wouldn't it be lovely to put like some of these like family sayings or love sayings uh -huh. on them, the amours? Some of the amour ones over your bed. So romantic. Okay. Looks pretty. I am going to add some more of these off to the side. Um, so I may actually use actually every bit of that first one. And I really wanted this big one from the second one. That's why I got a second one. But I'm going to put several along the side. So I'll make sure I do a good picture for the Instagram when I'm done. And when I actually do the thumbnail for the YouTube video, um, I'll make sure that I have a really good a really good picture of it. But I just want to, you want to help me up here? So you yes. Know. You know, flip it down that way. Pull it down. You know, it's going to be easier to come okay. off the edge. I just got to try to avoid the water. Right here. All right. I got to back up a little more. We get to see all our mess. Woo! That was a huge help there. Yeah. Well, come on over here, Teresa. There you go. Well, I can see it from the back. Can I see the whole thing? Holy cow, I can't even see the whole thing. I really got a backup. Whoa. Whoa. I'm at my I'm at my end here. Okay, well. Well guys, you kind of get an idea. I'll make sure that I get good close-ups and share on Instagram. Let us know what you think. Was this a good makeover today? I'm not, yeah, look how big this thing is. Giant. That's why I was saying I didn't want the words way up there or way down there. I wanted it kind of in reading where you can read it. Where you can read it and it'd be fun. Very awesome. I love it. It turned out beautiful. Yeah, I really like it. Mm -hmm. I think Paige will like it. Yeah, that's a beautiful little housewarming gift. All right, folks, that is it for us today. Um, Wednesday. Wednesday. We Wednesday. are here again for Thrift Hall Wednesday, so we will see you then. Any products that you've seen us use here today are available here at the store at Refund Collection and also on our website. So before you go, leave a comment because I have to be out of town. Uh, John and I are leaving on Wednesday to go sign for his apartment in Houston. So I will be out of town on Wednesday and Thursday, coming back sometime on Friday. So I don't know if I'll be here oh, Friday or not. I see. Um, what are you doing, girl? I, I don't know. Looks like you're doing a lot on Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> so, well, I was going to ask, would, and, and we're doing the same thing next week because Sue and I will be in Atlanta next week. Oh, market. Market. Um, so, the so, job said you so, <laughs> so the question is, would you like, to, I don't know if we could do it this Wednesday, but for sure next Wednesday while we're in Atlanta. Ah. Instead of doing thrift haul, would you like it if we gave you a tour of what's happening in Atlanta live? That would be cool. Would that be fun? Is that something that would interest you? If you think that would be fun, leave it in the comments. If I get no comments, we're just gonna be regular. You're stuck with me. You're just gonna be regular. Uh -huh. It's just gonna be regular thrift haul. But if you would like to see what happens at market and see all the cool new stuff that has that's available to us mm -hmm. to buy for the shop um, and for online, then let me know in the comments. Sounds like a plan. All right. Well, I'll see you Wednesday. And well, who knows what else will happen on Wednesday. But, but you know, with this system, I really could. I could be in the car yeah, and, for sure. and I could I could pop in and uh for sure. We'll critique you guys. And that's probably true too. That is true. You could just have my little face in the corner and I could be talking to you while you're doing that. That sounds pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she wears the crown. That's right. That's why that's mine. All right, folks. We will see you Wednesday, one way or another. Thank you for that's watching. We fun. appreciate it. Thanks, you. guys. Bye. Love your opinion now. Bye. Bye.